We we'll continue with growth. We've talked about increased market power. One of the reasons why a business, can I just stop that already? One of the reasons why businesses would want to increase or grow is to have dominance. That's the first thing. Stop that and sit down properly. That's the first thing we talked about. Put your head up. That's the first thing we talked about. Increase market power. Dominance. If you don't grow, if you are not expanding, you can't dominate the market. That's the first thing we talked about. Increase, do, increase market power, which brings about dominance. The second reason why a business would want to grow is to increase its profitability. So when we talk about profitability, we're talking about having more revenue after its cost of production. So that is profitability. So if a business is expanding, if a business is growing, it tends to make more profit than its competitors. And making more profit allows the business a return on investment to the owners. So because the more the profit the business makes, the more the share of profits to the owners. So as owners are making more profit, as owners are getting more returns, they become motivated and it becomes an incentive for them to want to start, to want to increase or expand their business. So they will continue to expand, they will continue to succeed because they are making profit. When you make profit, that is when you think about improving your business. So because the business is making profit more than the rest in the industry, in the market, then you start thinking about how to maintain its success. So profit is all about measuring your success as a business. Do you understand increased profitability here? The dominance, I will, explain, I will explain again. The dominance of a business could lead to profit, high profitability. Because if you are dominating the market, it means others are, your competitors are not selling as you, used to sell, as you are selling. So your revenue is more than your competitors. If your revenue is more than your competitors, then you will be making more profit than your competitors. Making more profit than your competitors brings about returns, high returns to the owners of the business. So now the owners of the business are making more profits based on how they dominate the market. That could motivate them to want to expand, to want to do more. So every now and then, because they have access to these resources, to these finance, they want to make sure that the business do more than other competitors. It's a success for them when they make profits. So they want to maintain this profit. To maintain it, it means they have to continue to invest in the business. So whatever is going to take them to maintain that position in the market, they will do. That is what profitability is about. What means about profitability? Growth. Because you have, you have expanded your business. One of the reasons why you expanded your business was to increase your market power. We talked about that previously. That's with dominance in the market. Now that you're dominating, it is expected of you to make more profit. Making more profit is this, increased profitability. So when you make more profit, it means returns, of, returns on investment for owners of the business is increasing. They have the incentive to produce more, to do more. So whatever it's going to take them to maintain that success, they're going to do. Because they wouldn't want, to, they wouldn't want competitors to take their position. That is increased profitability. Do we get it? Yeah. The second one is increased market share. We know what market share is. The total brand sale divided by the market sale multiplied by 100. So the percentage of what you sell as a business compared to those of your competitors, that is your market share. So if you are having dominance, if you are dominating the market, it means you have large percentage of share sales to yourself. When you dominate, it means all customers are mostly buying from you. That is what dominance is about. So if you, have, if you are dominating, it means you have the largest market share in the market. So when you do have this, it means you're having a strong brand. And having a strong brand means a lot of customers, a lot of stakeholders want to associate themselves with you because of who you are. It's a success. Everybody wants to buy Apple. Apple made stuff like phones, whatever it is. Because Apple is a strong brand, it's a successful brand. Do we get it? Do you understand, please? Yes. So, because you have grown as a business, you have dominated the market through your market power, you have increased your profitability, it is expected of you to increase your market share. So as soon as the market share increases, it becomes a brand, a brand name that's, that link bells everywhere. As a result of that, you'll be able to what? Charge a higher price. Your brand is exceptional. So whatever the price is, customers will buy. The demand for your product will always be price in the last thing. So customers will always want to buy your product. Then you can charge a premium or higher price. That's the first thing where you are able to dominate the market through increased market share. The second one, it allows you to distinguish your product from those of your competitors. 
So when they look at your product, they don't see it as similar as your competitors. They won't say, no, it's Apple, it's Apple, it's not. Apple and the rest, that is how they will say it. Do we understand? Yeah. The third point, increase product, okay, create customer loyalty. So every now and then, your customers will continue to return. Whenever they, there's a new need, when a new need arises arise for them, they will buy from you. There's iPhone 16 now, right? Yeah. If, you are done, if you have iPhone 15, now there's iPhone 16. If you need to buy iPhone 16, or if you need to step up your phone, or to, step, to buy a new phone or improved one, you're not going to think about other brands. You're going to think about the same Apple. So do you get the point here? Yes, yes. I'm not saying you have to throw away your phone because there's iPhone 16. But if there's a need to upgrade your phone, the next thing that comes to your mind is the same brand as before. That is what we call brand loyalty. Do you understand brand loyalty now? Yeah. The next one, develop an image. What? Yeah. Increase product recognition. So the more you have market share, the more people get to know more about your product. So oh, in China, in Dubai, in this, in that, it's about Apple, everywhere it's Apple. So recognition of your product becomes known worldwide. Do you understand? Yes. Develop an image. So they look at your product, they see it as the best in town. It has a position that others will not have. So the rep reputation you, your, business, your product will have is not going to be the same as those of your competitors. Reputation, do you get that? And the last one, it's, it allows you to launch a new product easily. So Apple doesn't have to, to pronounce or to advertise or to let people know that it's a new product is coming. You are already waiting for a new product. You are the one waiting. Do you get the point here? Yeah. We are always waiting for the next one. So then when the next one comes, it doesn't have to advertise. It doesn't have to stress over it because the customers are already <laughs> anticipating for it. Do you understand? Yeah.